Hey everyone, welcome back to Royal Roots Homestead. Um, I know I've been gone again for a while. I've got to stop making excuses, but you know, I do work a full-time job now and I still have clients I take care of. So I'm technically working like seven days a week, but I'm gonna keep trying to get some stuff to y'all. Today I work from home. So I had a little bit more freedom to kind of do some things um, like on a break and uh, in between task um so i made some fire cider and i was supposed to make this fire cider like a month ago um normally i make it in september it's good to use in november um it got cold a little bit faster this year too so i'm struggling with that <clears throat> it's been like below 60 for the past three days ever since that storm kind of went past us We've just had cold weather, cold, misty weather. And I also am suffering from allergies. So I wish I could have some of this fire cider right now. Um, I didn't make any last year. So unfortunately, or did I? No, I didn't make any last year. I skipped a year because we had just moved in the house. Um, so I didn't have any left over from last year either. <clears throat> so no home remedies this year. I actually had to take medications. Um, but I wanted to make sure I had some going forward. Um, I made it a little different this year. Normally I make like two, um, half gallon mason jars, but I believe my kids are throwing mason jars away. I had a six pack of half gallon mason jars and over the last few months, um, I know I gave one away to my mom when I made her some holy basil tea. Uh, I have some parboiled rice in another one. And then I have one in the sink um, that I just finished, uh, some holy basil tea that I made for myself. But then that's, it's supposed to be three more. And I don't know where those three are. Um, so, anyways, what I had to do <coughs> today was make, um, I had a hundred fluid ounce um, jar airtight lid jar that I use for other things and I had one clean I had two of them cleaned and I tried to make two of those but that uh, obviously you know that's way more than two half gallon jars so it didn't it, the measurements didn't add up um so I'll insert a picture of what it looked like it was very spacey it was more vinegar than it was the good stuff um so I ended up uh, dumping out, well, straining out the vinegar into a container, packing the jars, packing every, most of it into the one um, hundred fluid ounce jar, and then I had like a quart uh, worth left, and then I put the vinegar back on top. So um, it's gonna look a little different, <laughs> and the video might be a little choppy, but you'll get the picture. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. Oh, like, share, subscribe, please. I know, I know I need more content. I need to be more consistent and I promise you I will. Um, hopefully before the end of this year, I'll get back into a steady flow of things. Um, I do have some things I want to do out in the garden to kind of prepare for the spring because, you know, I want to re redo the garden in some way. I do also still need to plant those uh, greens, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that on camera because it might be one of those things where I rush and do it like after I get off work. But we'll see. But like, share, subscribe anyway. I mean, there's still plenty to laugh at and look at and learn from. So let's go and check out me making the fire cider. So here's what we're gonna put in it. Red onion, I use red onion for anything, but any onion is good. Lime, orange, lemon, some rose hip, ginger, garlic, some habanero peppers from the garden, turmeric, and a little jalapeno. I'm going to go ahead and cut these into some smaller pieces just so that the benefits can get released into the vinegar solution. The vinegar is what we're going to keep after we strain everything in two months. And that's what you're going to take shots of daily or um, you're gonna, you can drink more of it when you're not feeling that great. Once it's strained, we'll add some honey to it uh, for a taste. But let's just talk about some of the benefits of these ingredients. So raw apple cider vinegar helps to aid the digestive system and fights infections. Also, it clears sinuses. I have habanero peppers. You can also use cayenne peppers, but this increases circulation, boosts metabolism, and your immune system. 
onions and garlic are antibacterial and antifungal properties are um, present there. They're high in antioxidants and they detoxify. Ginger root and turmeric are both antioxidant and anti-inflammatory. Uh, ginger root relieves indigestion as well. Some people put horseradish in theirs. I didn't have any horseradish and none of the stores that were close by had them. I probably could have went somewhere like Whole Foods or um, some other, uh, you know, fresh produce place. But it's further away from me, um, so I didn't put them in there. But if you do, they're antibacterial, antifungal, and fights infection. Rosehip is high in vitamin C. Um, it's really good to get those vitamins in. And I don't necessarily take, like, supplements. Um, but if I can put it into my diet, that's always great. Um, I did put some thyme in here. It's not uh, showing yet. But thyme is um, an antibacterial as well, and it supports the respiratory system. So we also have citrus. Citrus is high in um, vitamin C as well. It reduces inflammation and it aids in the digestive system. And so I also mentioned that I'm gonna add some raw honey. I get some honey from um, a local beekeeper. He, I get a gallon at a time. Um, he sells it at the farmer's market. In fact, the farmer's market is going to be ending at the end of this month, so I need to go ahead and get another gallon as I'm thinking out loud. But using local honey is really good with, um, with allergies. Um, but if you can't get any local honey, any raw honey is still going to be good. It's antibacterial and antifungal. Soothes sore throats. Um, and like I said, if you can source it locally, it has even more benefits when it comes to like allergies. Now, there are some herbs that I would have loved to add to it. Um, unfortunately, I didn't have a lot left in my herb garden. So I'm just going to name off some that would be great. And I could possibly add some to it, um, you know, because I have to burp the jars over time. Uh, so I could, if I can get some fresh ones, I didn't see any fresh herbs at the store, but again, you know, it's that time of year. I'll also be hooking up my, um, arrow garden for my herbs over the winter time, which is usually what I do. I grow it indoors and I can add them later. Um, but rosemary, sage, oregano, lemon balm, um, Tulsi, which I do have some of that in the, uh, garden, some holy basil still. Um, savory catnip all of these um, are good to add to it as well they have medicinal properties as well um, but they're not necessary so I wasn't gonna let that stop me from making my um, fire cider because I couldn't find those things some people also add cranberries which are an antioxidant um, they contain high levels of uh, potassium, vitamin C, and A. And I do plan on going to the grocery store and getting some more things. So cranberries is something that I thought about getting. Um, but I like to get, I, do, I don't, I really like or prefer to get fresh um, things, but I may go ahead and get some dried cranberries. I'm not sure. Nettles, um, that is an anti-inflammatory as well. And it supports the adrenal system, help protect your bones. Elderberries. So I have an elderberry tree and didn't get any elderberries this year. It's my first time planting one. Um, I am going to do some research and find out why I didn't get any. Um, but I have two of them, um, but they are from the same uh, type. And so I read somewhere that you should have different elderberry trees, but I'm not sure um, more research is required. But elderberries are good to put in them as well. Contain high level of potassium, folate, calcium, iron, vitamin C, and A. So these are all good things to put in them in the um, fire cider. And like I said, you know, anything that you don't have, don't let it stop you from making the fire cider. Use what you have because these ingredients have benefits by themselves you don't necessarily have to have the um all of the benefits um if you don't have them just use what you have
So I thank you all for joining me for another project. Um, I hope you learned something. I hope you try it out. I'm going to head over here and start on my uh, dinner for tonight. And until next time, y'all, be blessed.